Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel called Tartaria and History Channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Giant of Cuma, Naples, Italy Discovery in 1938 in 1938, the workers of the archaeologist, Emilio Maiori, during the excavations on the top of the Cumana Acropolis, discovered on the western front of the so-called Temple of Jupiter, some huge bone fragments. The famous paleontologist, Ralph von Koenigswald, already engaged in the search for the Gigantopithecus, born of the discovery, went to the place by joining the researchers and bringing to light the finds we have available. The New York Times published August 17, 1885. The Petrified Giant. From the San Francisco Examiner. Victoria, British Columbia, August 5, 1885. The body of the petrified giant has been found by two farmers who were sinking a well 10 miles from town. Its appearance closely resembles that of a human being. The head has the appearance of having been scalped. The material is as hard as flint, and the arms and legs are broken short off. The veins and ribs are plainly traced. A party has gone out for the legs, arms, and hands, which lie in a hole. The man when alive must have been about 12 feet in height. 1886, April 22, The Emporia Weekly News. The recent heavy floods in Georgia have revealed a mine of archaeological wonders near Cartersville. In a mound field of gigantic size, acres of bones and skulls have been discovered, of such a size, that the owners must have reached a height of at least 14 feet. From articles like this, and before that time, they seemed to show an understanding and acceptance that these were living beings at one point in time. Anyway, these are three African giant women, photographed in 1897. The photographer was a French man, and the photograph is in a museum in France according to sources. The pineal gland is said to be one of the biggest secrets that has been hidden from us. The secret is not that the gland exists, the secret is its function. Medical students are told it's a deformed organ, but it's not. The pineal gland would be our third eye, the organ through which we dream and imagine, and once activated, it is also the organ that will connect us to other dimensions of reality, that is, it allows us to make ass journeys row, or leaving our physical body to travel with our body etherical, developing psychological capacities such as clairvoyance or telepathy, and even the ability to travel through time. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Tramnus, a Frankish theologian of the 9th century, in his Epistola de Sinocephalus, wrote to his superior, asking whether these creatures should be recognized as belonging to the human race, or to a race of animals. Retramnus favored a human designation, but wanted confirmation. What I found compelling about the Retramnus letter is not his description of the creatures, but his more practically believable concern for his religious duty of converting them to Christianity. 
Amis of Cantimper, appealing to authority, quoted St. Jerome when verifying that Sinasophali were actual beings. He wrote of them in Liber de Monstrusus Heminibus Orientis, of a creature that had the head of a dog, but otherwise looked human in its form, and behaved like a man, being peaceful when not provoked, and vicious and retaliatory when provoked. What do you think? This dragon falling incident took place in Chinjiaoizi village, on the south bank of the Songhu River, in 1944. After the incident spread, many people came to watch. Residents said it was a black dragon. One of the witnesses, Randy Anuan, described it. The dragon looks 12 meters long. It was lying on the beach at the time. Its head was like an ox, its mouth was like a catfish, it had a beard, and it had a horn on each side of its head. It had no forks, and had four claws underneath. Cannot confirm the last photo unfortunately. The story is fascinating though. Dragon tales are known in many cultures, from the Americas to Europe, and from India to China. It's not clear when or where stories of dragons first emerged, but the huge flying serpents were described at least as early as the age of the ancient Greeks and Sumerians. In the ancient world, they took the form of enormous serpents, ready to crush with their coils, and kill with their venomous breath. For much of history, dragons were thought of as beasts. Sometimes useful and protective, other times harmful and dangerous. In our recent past, they are known to be a mythical being of fantasy. Some people say, many so-called dinosaur bones are actually of ancient dragons. Fairies' houses and giants' tombs, strolling around Mamoyada, Sardinia. The Domus de Janas, or Fairies' House, near Mamoyada. Would you ever think there was a place inhabited by fairies and giants? I mean for real, not in children's stories. Anywhere you go in Sardinia, you'll never experience a lack of ancient remains, but probably the best preserved treasures belong to ancient times, when the island was home to the still mysterious Naragic civilization. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.